Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man PS4 video, and today what we're going to be talking about is photo mode in Spider-Man PS4 and how to get the best photos possible in Spider-Man PS4. Now, before we jump into this, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if you could leave a like rating on the video as it shows your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And with that said, well, let's just jump right into this. So as you can see here, I've got a pretty awesome pick of the Scarlet Spider suit in Spider-Man PS4. Let's go back to the original frame that I had here, which was just about like that. And I want to show you guys, without sounding too pretentious, like I know more or something like that, I just want to show you guys a little bit of my process in making photos in this game and how I found the best ways to make photos in Spider-Man PS4. So, what for me, it comes down to is two sections in photo mode that help me the most with making my photos look great. And that is the lens section and the overlays section. And we're actually gonna use the overlay section to perfect this photo that I've made here. So, under the lens section, you can see there are three options. FOV, focus distance, and aperture. FOV is something really you can mess with to your own pleasure. It's something that, you know, just allows you to get precise framing, whether you wanna close in a little bit more or move back a little bit more. And the reason that this exists is because of the unpredictability of the left analog stick when you're actually messing around in photo mode. It just, when you're using the left analog stick and you move it just a tiny bit, sometimes it'll go too far in or too far back. So using FOV allows you that precise framing so that everything looks perfect. I'm leaving my FOV here at 57 because that is where I find the perfect look here of the Scarlet Spider suit. So then we have focus distance and aperture and these two things is what helps with the blurry background there so as you can see if i bring my focus distance down to one or zero spider-man looked completely blurry and out of frame and out of focus and it just doesn't look good overall even like sometimes you'll get a blurry shot of spidey and it'll look pretty decent this is not one of those cases so i brought it up to two and then the aperture here at 34 is what allows the blurry background to be as blurry as it is so if i lower the aperture a little bit you can see that the background is just slightly blurry. But if I bring it up back to 34, which is I believe where it was just then, the background is a lot more blurry. So this is what helps me with getting those cool looking photos where Spidey is the one who's clear and in frame and in focus, whereas everything else is out of focus. And that's the way that I like my photos to look. And then of course, I'll add frame eight out of the frame selection. This is the film frame, you know, where it looks like it's a shot from a movie. Then I head over to the overlay section and this is where I find myself perfecting the look of my photos. So I'll either add or not add film grain strength and you might not know exactly what this does unless you pay really close attention. So if you look in the brighter spots of the photo, which is like the ground or just to the right of Spider-Man's arm there, you're gonna see all those tiny little black dots. Then when I get rid of film grain strength, you're going to see all those black dots go away and all this really does is as the name suggests it's film grain so it makes your screenshot look like it's coming from a film then if you head to the very bottom of the overlay section you're going to see the option for sharpening and if we crank that up a lot you're going to see what this does is it sharpens your photo as of course the name would suggest and it gives you all those little extra details on spidey suit so when i bring the sharpening back down you're going to see that the, sh uh, the shot of the suit looks a little more smooth. You know, not a lot of textures in there. But when I crank it back up, you get all those extra details. You get that extra little texture in there on the suit. And it looks phenomenal. So film grain and sharpening really helps my photos look to the point where it's like it's coming from a movie. Then, of course, you want to do things like whatever, whatever it is. You might want to mess with your framing. You might want to mess with your filter. And this is just the final step of the process like hell that looks really freaking cool or if you just want to leave it as is do whatever you want to do with it like this is a pretty good filter here but i do like i believe what i had was fashion yeah i had the fashion frame and i think this looks fantastic then let's say you want to make a gif if you want to make something that's not just the photo if you head over to camera type and select orbit hide the ui and then boom what this does here is it locks the camera on Spidey or on the position that you're at and basically creates a 360 degree orbit around him. So then the camera can move around that position, but it won't pan. You know what I mean? So like, let's say we're on free, then it'll just turn, right? 
but if I turn it on orbit, it locks onto him. So this allows you to get some really cool gifts, or maybe if you wanted to create like a scene from a movie almost, you could do that using this camera type. And then of course, it also helps just if you want to reframe the photo, but still have that good shot of Spidey standing there. You know, if I wanted to move the camera a little bit here, if I didn't want to have the tire from the taxi there to be in the shot, then I can just move the camera over with the orbit and still have Spidey standing there like that and have all the blurry background and everything. And it looks great. And that's really as simple as it gets to getting these really good shots here. It's so easy. All I did was just stand in the street, aim my camera down so that Spidey was looking down, head into photo mode, and then just begin your process, you know? Mess with the FOV if you want to. Obviously mess with the aperture and the focus distance if you want to get that blurry background, of course. Or if you just want to have the background be completely clear and crisp in frame, that is something you can totally do as well. But I usually, like I said, to get that film quality to my photos, I usually like to have the background being completely blurry. Then get your framing properly with the filter. And then once you get that done, you want to get your frame selection. I usually like to pick frame 8 here. And then you mess with your overlays in terms of the film grain strength and the sharpening. And then once you got everything done, so like let's sharpen this photo a little bit, make it perfectly crisp and clear. And then once you got that done, hide the UI and take your screenshot. Now this is key because I see a lot of people taking their awesome photos with their phone against the TV screen and don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Especially if you're sending these photos to me on Twitter, the easiest way to get your HD screenshot uploaded and sent to me on Twitter is to hit that share button on your PlayStation controller, click on screenshot, it automatically save your shot to your gallery, and then you can link your Twitter or your Facebook to your PlayStation, and you can tweet it out through there. It's as easy as that. If you wanted to send it via a message to me or to anybody on your friends list, you can do that as well. It's super, super easy, and this is the way to get your HD screenshots uploaded. Now, if you also have a game capture software like I do, like the Elgato, there is an option to where you can just screenshot your screen, and that is what I do to get my HD screenshots for Spider-Man PS4. And if you have a game, ca game capture software, that is something that you can do as well. And overall, there's just a ton of options that you have here with photo mode in Spider-Man PS4. Just swing around the city for a little bit and hit pause a bunch of times and see if you can get a cool looking frame of Spidey. So here, let's switch over to a different suit for now and use something that looks a little bit different. Like, hey, let's try out the Spider Armor Mark IV suit and let's mess around and swing around the city here. So another thing that I wanted to show you guys when you're swinging around the city is how to get a good shot in selfie mode. So as you can see, we're swinging around and it's night. So let's go to like a dark area. As you can see, this is pretty dark. We head over to selfie mode. You can see that the lighting is decent on the suit because the suit lighting is great and the suit has some lights on it. But if we head over to selfie, let's, uh, let's mess with the eyes. Let's make them shifty. Then you got a selfie light and this thing is magical. It helps so well when you're in photo mode to get that cool authentic selfie feel to your photo. Adding that selfie light is so good especially when it's during nighttime swinging in spider-man ps4 and then of course you can mess with all the same stuff that i had previously mentioned the aperture and the focus distance of course you can mess with the film grain if you want to and then definitely especially when you're in selfie mode mess with that sharpening because you can get a really crisp look at whatever suit you have currently equipped when you mess with the sharpening options in selfie mode for spider-man ps4 next up i want to show you guys real quick here how to get a photo to where it looks like and it works as an iPhone or just a phone wallpaper in general. And it's actually really, really easy. All you gotta do is one simple thing with your photo. So let's say we got a shot here of Spidey with the ambulance. You know, he's helping out, whatever. He's helped, he's helped out with this crime even though he really hasn't, all right? So let's say we got this with the ambulance or something, I don't know, whatever shot we wanna get. Let's do something like that, right? But I want to get this shot to where it looks like it can work for an iPhone wallpaper. And the way that you do that is really simple. When you're in the camera section, you go over to tilt, and whether you tilt to the right or to the left, you just tilt this until the photo is completely sideways. Then get rid of your UI or whatever. If you want to mess with all the different options, you still can do that absolutely. You know, mess with your filters and all that stuff. 
get rid of your UI, save your screenshot once again, and then upload this screenshot to your computer, whether that's tweeting it out, whether that's putting it out on Facebook, however, get this screenshot out on your computer. Then, if you got Photoshop, or even if you got like Microsoft Paint, it's super simple. All you gotta do is just take the photo, put it in that software, and rotate the photo to the left or to the right, whichever way you'd like it, 90 degrees. Usually, of course, like let's say if we got a shot here of Spidey, like this, and then we tilted it like that, we want to flip the photo or rotate it to the right or to the left, sorry, 90 degrees so that it's sitting upright and it looks like a straight photo. And then boom, you can use that as an iPhone wallpaper. Just save the photo now onto your computer with the changes that you've just made. And then you can upload that to Twitter as well. Or you can just put that photo onto your phone and save it as an iPhone wallpaper. And that's how a lot of people out there have been getting that photo or that those photos that is of Spidey where it looks like it works for an iPhone wallpaper. It's really as simple as that. That's all you have to do. You just flip the tilt a little bit so that the photo is sideways and then head into like Microsoft Paint if you wanted to or Photoshop if you have it and then rotate the photo 90 degrees either to the left or to the right. And it's just as easy as that. That's all you gotta do to get a good photo like that. And then of course you got stuff like the vintage comic book suit. A lot of people like to use this suit when they're creating the comic book covers and it definitely works for that. I personally don't like using this suit too much just because of how much it kind of breaks the immersion of the game. But for photo mode specifically and getting those comic book cover shots, this suit definitely works really, really well. You can get Spidey in just some great poses and then from there just mess around with the photo. I love to use the newsprint filter but then I bring down the blend a ton because the newsprint filter is like super, super bright. So I bring down the blend so that it kind of like goes back to a normal photo. And then of course, if you bring down all the way, it goes back to a normal photo, but then you bring it up just a little bit. So you still have that newsprint style to it and then choose any comic book frame that you want. Obviously, you know, this frame works really well. It's the comic book cover. And then of course you can mess with the aperture and the focus distance as well so then your photo can look a lot better or even just look decent you know whatever it might be i don't know but as you can see when i bring down the focus distance here and we blur the background a little bit we just have spidey in frame and this looks like it was something that was drawn for a comic book cover and then this is of course where you can mess with stickers one little tip that i will add is when you're in the filters and frames section there is a frame level option that says above stickers or below stickers and what this does is really simple so as you can see i've selected below stickers then we won't when we go into sticker mode and we select like say i don't know this spider symbol as you can see the spider symbol will be above the frame so it'll be above everything that's in here and then of course you can you can add some of the stickers to the side here if you want you don't even have to have them on the actual frame itself but as you can see if i go into photo mode and then go to frame or frame level that is and then add that to above sticker the sticker will just disappear because it won't be above the frame so this is something that is a good option to keep in mind of as this will allow you to get some decent looking photos using some of those stickers now if we get rid of that sticker one thing that i really like to do with the comic book cover is add the classic web behind the amazing spider-man writing there but of course we got ahead into photo mode and make it so that the stickers will go below the frame level so that the frame is above the stickers and then as you can see we have that classic webbing behind the amazing spider-man logo there that you would normally see on comic book covers and it looks pretty damn cool and then of course if we bring up the ui again and we head into the stickers i also love to add the spidey head that you would normally see on comic books and stuff like that and there you go you got a nice little comic book cover just like that a lot of people love to use that vintage comic book suit to get those specific photos and that's definitely something that you can mess with and do but yeah overall just mess around with photo mode a ton make sure you're using the crap out of it there is so much to do with this thing and it is just so much fun to see everyone's photos and all the things that they can do and all the things that we're all capable of with this it's such an awesome feature in spider-man ps4 and i'm so happy to see that everyone is utilizing the hell out of it it is just fantastic so keep sending your photos to me on twitter but from now on hopefully now that i've given you guys that tip of course using that share button make sure you're getting those photos in hd you want your photos to look the best they possibly can and in order to do that you got to use that share button 
on your PlayStation controller. So make sure that you are absolutely doing that. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did enjoy, if you could leave a like rating on the video, it shows your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.